What's up guys, I'm here today bringing you some Evan Zokacha Connected Careers Mode on Madden 13. And you can see his statistics right here in week 13, over his first 11 games, he is already almost to 1,000 yards rushing. He also has 6 rushing touchdowns, 5 receiving touchdowns, and 1 kickoff return for a touchdown. As the Cowboys try to remain in the hunt for a wild card spot if they can't start playing much better and end up taking over the division, but they don't control their own destiny right now in the division because they are a 5-6 and six team. And this is a very pivotal game on the schedule against the Philadelphia Eagles, who are also 5-6. and six. And so it could be very likely that the loser of this game ends up having their playoff hopes derailed, having to win out to just go 9-7. and seven. But we're already off to a poor start. It's 10-0 Philly as Romo tries to take off on this play and ends up losing a yard. And then handoff to Evans Okacha, can't find an open running lane, and he's going to lose two yards. And that'll bring up a third down and nine, which Okacha had to come off the field for. And Tony Romo couldn't get the first down. But luckily our defense finally holds Philadelphia, it's 10-0 still, Evans Okacha out of the backfield makes a catch, he's tackled after a 5 yard gain. Oh and by the way, if you guys are enjoying his videos, please do leave a like, I appreciate it. And here is Evans Okacha running off tackle, he runs to the weak side and gets a first down. And that's going to put the Cowboys at the 32 yard line now as Romo drops back in the pocket looking to throw long. And he throws left side, that's really well covered. But Des Bryant makes a great catch. I believe that was Michael Kendricks on the zone coverage. He gets eight yards, and Okacha converts up the gut for a first down as we near the end of the first quarter here. And we come out in the second. We're going to go three wide out now, two in the backfield, Witten and Okacha. Romo to throw under pressure. Fires left side to Miles Austin, who can't hang on to the catch. He is hit by Kurt Coleman. Then I'll bring up second down now as we hand the ball off to Evans Okacha going up the middle, trying to cut to the right, and he is tackled from behind after getting six yards and making it a manageable third down scenario. Romo takes a snap, moving to his right, heaving it deep for Kevin Ogletree, and it's intercepted by Aaron Barry, and he is tackled inside the five-yard line, and the Eagles have a turnover, but we would hold them to a three-and-out. Matt Turk out of the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater punts it deep to Evans Okaja, breaks the initial tackle, gets into Philadelphia territory to the 44-yard line. Excellent field position. You have to get points in a situation like this. Romo drops back to throw. Going to go long over the middle for Witten, and it's knocked away. Another good play on the ball as our deep passes are not connecting in this game. Second and 10, Okaj takes the handoff, going to the weak side again, cut into the middle, and he is brought down by Brian Roll after four yards. We then go with a little super sim, no points, and we end up getting a punt from the Eagles now, trying to find a way to score some points, and Okaj was interfered with by Curtis Marsh. That's fair catch interference, a 15-yard penalty. We're going to have great field position now. They're actually going to give it to us at the opponent's 49-yard line. So we begin our second possession now in Eagles territory, trying to find a way to get some points generated here. We got Okacha going up the middle, trying to jump over everybody, and he gets about three yards on the carry. Third and six now. We can't go three now in a situation like this. Romo slant route, caught Miles Austin, first down. Cowboys, nine yards on the gain. We are on the edge of field goal range now. Romo fakes the handoff to Okacha, then throws it to him over the middle, who then jumps and then switches direction, breaks a tackle, and puts his hand to the turf and somehow stays on his feet, and Okacha going outside! Touchdown, Cowboys! An extremely impressive play by the rookie running back out of the University of Texas at San Antonio. We'll take one more look at this play as he was wide open over the middle. I accidentally hit triangle and jumped there. See all these defenders are trying to switch direction, break a tackle, and another defender trips. And then Dominique Rogers Kamari just runs into Okachi, puts his hand down, stays on his feet, and the rest is history. Six points for Evans Okach on perhaps his most impressive touchdown of this series. It's 10-7 to now. We're finally on the board, and we're trying to get some more points before halftime with just under a minute to go. Okach gets a carry, and then we convert for a first down, and Romo on first and 10 is going to sit in the pocket. Great protection over the middle. Des Bryant, first down Cowboys. We'll have one more play now. Okach is not on the field. Romo out of the shotgun, going deep over the middle, and Ogletree got separation, touchdown Cowboys, and we take the lead as time expires in the first half. What a momentum shift, two great touchdowns in the, in the second quarter there, and now we have the football to open up the second half. Okaja gets the second half off to a good start with a nine yard carry out of the shotgun. We're going to give it back to him on second down. Okaja going to the right side as Green in front of him makes a nice juke, and he has a man miss and gets ahead for a first down. As the Cowboys now face second down and 11, Romo is going to fire outside of Jason Witten, who's going to fumble, and Des Bryant falls on it, and he's going to get the first down. So we keep possession there, avoid disaster. 
And we have a new set of downs, Romo misdirection handoff, Okacha runs into his own man that has a nice spin move and cuts upfield. Could have been a two yard gain there, but instead he gets nine with some nifty running moves. Now at the Philadelphia 40, Okacha going outside again, he's got the first down marker in sight and Kurt Coleman takes him down after he gets about 10, 12 yards. We would kick a field goal on that drive and then Philadelphia would answer with a touchdown, so it's 17 apiece as Okacha tries to hurdle once again and he's caught in midair and slammed to the ground. But he did get the first down, Okacha now taking a carry outside, and he's continuing to get very good chunks. No major big gains, or nothing over 20 yards, but the consistency is what you need in the running game. Second down and two, Romo now throwing. Great protection today, by the way, and he goes long for Jason Witten. What a catch at the Philadelphia 30-yard line. 30-yard pass plays. Romo's played pretty well today, other than the interception. And now at a second down and 10, Romo hands off to Okacha, going up the middle, makes a cut and trips over his own man. He's going to get four yards on this carry, but we're in field goal range here, and we're going to do some super sim now. And we are unable to get the first down, but we do kick a field goal and end up forcing Philadelphia to kick a field goal inside of our own 10-yard line. So they don't take the lead, but they do tie the game up 20-20 to with 5.03 to go in the fourth quarter. Now Romo out of the shotgun from his own 49, fires outside to Jason Witten. He makes the catch short for about five yards as we're in Philadelphia territory now, but looking to run the ball. Handoff, Okacha up the gut. Good blocking again. He got the first down to the Philadelphia 36 as he's over the century mark and has surpassed 1,000 rushing yards. Romo to pass on first down. Wide open outside is Miles Austin. Curl row, and he is wrapped up and dragged to the ground at the 22-yard line. We are in field goal range now and have control of this game. As long as we can keep getting positive gains and manage this clock and make Philadelphia burn their timeouts, we're in a good spot. Third down and in inches, though we have to convert on this play and make them burn their timeouts. Outside goes Okachi, cuts back inside off of a nice block, and he gets the first down. Philadelphia now burning their timeouts. We go in the goal line set handoff. Lawrence Vickers, and it's just a solid gain there of four yards as Philadelphia has to continue stopping the clock. Now we pitch outside to Okacha, and that's going to be Philly's last timeout as on third and nine we have to go to a super sim and DeMarco Murray runs the ball and then Dan Bailey gets us the go-ahead field goal and we have to watch it from this menu as the Philadelphia Eagles are unable to score and the Dallas Cowboys win this football game 23 to 20 and one of our best games offensively on the season I think as far as not having turnovers and just uh, having good drives overall, I believe. It was a good game for us, only 23 points. But I was really happy with the way Romo played and the way I ran the ball with Okacha. It was a nice player there, Jason Witten. That was a great catch downfield. But 23-20, Dallas moves to 6-6 six and six on the year. We're going to take a look at the standings in a moment. You can see here, i got to watch my Vikings, how they're doing in this series. And here's Chris Cook, Defensive Player of the Week. I like to see that, although he gets hurt in real life every season. But we are third place in the division, but look at the rest of the NFC here. There's nothing standing out in the NFC North. The best team is 7-5. and five. The NFC South, though, has two 8-4 and four teams. So we got to think we got to get one of the two wild cards, which means we have to surpass the Giants just to get the six seeds. So the, N the NFC West is very competitive right now. But we kind of can do control of our own destiny right now. And next up, we play a very good AFC team in the Cincinnati Bengals. And so we'll see next episode if we can hang with Cincinnati and keep our playoff hopes alive and not fall to 6-7. and seven. We may have to win out. Maybe we can get in the playoffs with a 9-7 and seven record. But we got to try to win out and have control of our own destiny if we can. But thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Check out these two videos here as well as the Gamma Labs link in the description. I have a coupon code for $5 off with the coupon code CANE, C-A-N-E. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.